Hi and welcome to Inspector Tool Belt. In this video we're going to show you how to get started. Getting started is pretty simple here in Inspector Tool Belt. The first thing you're going to want to do after you sign up is after you're brought to this blank screen go over here to time slots. This is where you're going to set up your uh, available time slots so that people can schedule their inspections with you. Up here in the upper right hand corner click new and then choose a time. We're going to choose 9 a.m. for demonstration purposes. Now you want to choose the days that you want to apply that to. So if you want to apply it to every day of the week, you can check that box. Or say we only want to do Monday through Friday. Then you go back up here and click Save. Then after you've set all your time slots up, you can set up your widget. You can also go back in here and add different time slots as well. So for instance, I may want to start my afternoon appointment at 1 p.m. But I only work in the afternoons maybe on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Save again. And now all those have been applied. And those are your available time slots. Now you're going to want to create a web widget. This is the widget that will actually be displayed on your website. To create a new widget, click on the button, and you're going to choose what type of widget this is going to be. Is it a residential, commercial, or additional services? Maybe you perform mold inspections and radon testing and things like that. Don't worry too much about having all of these in one widget. You'll have what's called a global widget, so you can create three, four, five different widgets, and it'll all be put into one if, you, if that is what you want. So click on residential to start off and you can add as many of these as you want. This is the heading that the client will see. So please select property type. So single family, multifamily, townhouse, condo, and you can add other ones. For instance, you can write three season cabin or whatever it is that you'd like. You can also change these. So this can say two family. So you can continually add any amount of properties or any property types that you like. So let's say our single family home goes for $500. Two family on average will go for $600. Townhouse, let's say $450. And a condo, let's say $400. Now you can also adjust your prices that people receive by the square footage. So under a thousand square foot, it wouldn't add in any additional cost to it, hypothetically. 1,000 to 2,000 square foot, let's add on $25. Then we'll add on 50. Then we'll add on 100. And this one we automatically put in there, please call. But you can obviously change that as well. And you can adjust those as you would like. Now you can add on any additional services that you'd like. So perhaps you do radon testing and septic inspection. So radon, let's say is $100 and a septic inspection is 300. But now maybe you offer an additional service that you don't see here on the list. You can also add anything that you'd like. So you can add sewer scope, for example. And let's say that's $150. Now you can also add other pricing variables, such as age of the home, is there an outbuilding, are the utilities off, is the building occupied? And you can add any variables that you like. Maybe you work in an area where um, a lot of homes are built on piers and you charge extra for that, or maybe a crawl space. So you can say, is there a crawl space. And if so, maybe you charge an extra $50. And there you have it. Your widget is done and ready to work for you. And this is the code that you will install on your website. So pretty basic. It'll work with pretty much any website provider. You're just going to cut and paste that into the HTML. You can have your web host do it or you can do it yourself. It's pretty simple. You can edit your widget here and you can ed edit anything in that widget. So say you forgot a variable, you can go in and add and change anything that you'd like 
as time goes on. You can also delete that widget or you can add a new one. So you can click new. Let's say we want a commercial widget. So let's choose warehouse and that's going to be $1,000 for demonstration purposes. We'll skip those and let's say they have a septic, commercial septic, let's say it's another $1,000. And we'll save that. Now you'll notice you have a residential widget and a commercial widget. Then up here you have the global widget. So this will add all of your widgets to one to all, all to one website, to one web page, whatever it is. So you can have a residential website, a commercial website, or you can have both of them combined into one. So you can add as many widgets as, you, as you'd like within reason. Uh, you can have a radon widget for a radon website or whatever it is that you are working with for your additional services. Also, you can check out your profile and this is your display name. It's going to be the same as your email if you signed up using your Gmail account, which is the preferred method. And also, this shows your subscription tier free and you can upgrade at any time you'd like. Thank you very much and we look forward to working with you here at Inspector Toolbelt.